In Adobe Illustrator, we, we're going to be creating a template to create this sort of style of art. Before we get started creating the template, you can purchase this on my gum road for $2.50 if you don't want to do it, and then skip to the timestamp above me. If not, follow through and we will see a very simple way to create a template. So just open up a new file, I'm gonna make it 3000. I'm gonna open up the shape building tool, get a rectangle, go up here and we're gonna make it not have a fill. I'm gonna make the stroke be gray and we're gonna set it to like 100. Actually, let's do 200. You can do it as big as you want, just make it a rectangle. Once you have this, drag it over. We're gonna go Object Expand, and we're gonna expand it. And now that we have this, we're gonna go Object Lock Selection. And this is what we're gonna be building our artwork inside of. Now over here, click on the Rectangle tool again. We're gonna change it to black though. And we're gonna draw some rectangles. Let's just start with a long one like this. And then to make sure that this artwork looks nice and symmetrical, just gonna duplicate this out and we're gonna hold shift while we rotate it so we can get it rotated on that axis. And then we're gonna do this again for this axis, and then again for this axis. We're gonna select all of these, duplicate them over. And then up here in the sizing, we're just gonna type divided by two. And when we divide it by two, they will get thinner in length. And then do the same thing on this one, divide by two, divide by two, and now we have some smaller ones, just going to move these over here so they're easier to get to, I'm going to drag this one over here, and just drag this down until we get it clicked into a square, now we have a square, duplicate the square over, I'm going to do a circle, we're going to click on both of these, duplicate them over. Same thing up here. We're just going to divide it by two and divide it by two. Now we have some shapes we can use, but this is locked. Let's select all of these, right click on them, arrange, send it back. Now we're going to hold down alt and drag these over and compile some sort of interesting looking shapes. You want them to be overlapping at specific angles as, and uh, don't rotate anything. That's why we created it like this beforehand. We're just gonna do this kind of fast, but obviously you can spend as much time on this as you want. And the more time you spend on this, the better it's gonna look. Use some of the smaller ones and have them lined up. You can go through and use any shapes you want in this. It doesn't have to be only rectangles, but I prefer it to be this way because I find that it gives it a very stylized and interesting look. And now that we have this laid out over here, I'm gonna go up here, Object, Unlock All. I'm gonna select all of the geometry over here. Go to Shape Builder, click on Shape Builder. And if you have Alt hold down, it'll delete geometry. And if you don't, you can draw it together and it'll make geometry. So for example, we can hold on Alt and click on these and they'll delete them. And then we're just gonna go through and we're just gonna delete the geometry we don't want and combine the geometry we do want. So I'm gonna go like this, combine this, delete all these, combine this. Actually, let's undo that, I wanna delete that. Right here we're going to delete these, and we're going to draw this together, delete this one, actually you know, we'll just draw this together, and here delete this, we're going to draw this, delete these, cool, and now we're going to hold down alt and delete everything else. If you want you can save this use it as a template so you can make a lot more. But now that we have this, 
sort of basic thing. We're gonna click on it, and over here we're gonna switch to the direct selection tool. And we're just gonna make everything a little round. You can leave it as pointy as you want, or make it as round as you want. Sometimes the whole shape can't be rounded, you just have to select specific ones because of the way that the geometry is built. I'm just gonna make sure we go through and delete everything. If you miss stuff like this little one over here, just select it and delete everything. There we go. Go back and round this corner. Round these two. Round all those a little bit. Round this, round this. Cool. Now that we have this, this is a very basic one. Obviously, you can go through and add smaller shapes and more detailed shapes. We're going to copy it, or we're going to right click on this, we're going to group it, we're going to copy it, and we're just going to go back in here and we're just going to paste it in here with these. These ones will all be also in the Gumroad description below $2.50 if you want to buy the template or buy these four sort of interesting abstract shapes. Hope you guys learned something from that very simple, very quick one. As you can see, the longer you spend on it, you can go through, you can add more dots, you can add smaller lines, you can do more intense geometry, the cooler it'll be. So, hope you learned something. Uh, like, subscribe, I'm gonna be doing some more long form ones here coming soon and some more short sort of graphic design breakdowns like this. Thank you, have a good one.